From a girl in her famous father's shadow, to a rebellious young ingenue, to a sophisticated, well-spoken woman of opinion, Angelina Jolie has made her mark as a Hollywood powerhouse. Want to know about her history and the path that led her to success? This is Angelina Jolie's stunning transformation. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Angelina Jolie has acting in her DNA. Born in Los Angeles in 1975, the bombshell actress is the daughter of John Voight and Marceline Bertrand. When Bertrand was growing up, she didn't have the Hollywood lifestyle one would expect. During an interview with Parade, Jolie recalled, My mother was an angel, a Catholic schoolgirl raised in a Chicago bowling alley. She could bowl like nobody's business. My grandparents ran the bar and bowling alley. When Jolie's mother was just 17 years old, she relocated to Los Angeles, where she met Jolie's father. And while things were good for a while, it was after they divorced while Jolie was just a baby that things got meager. My mother was, it was a full-time mother. She didn't have much of her, her, her own career, her own life, her own experiences, her own, you know, everything was for her children. Jolie would later recall in an interview that her mother never owned a home, so she mostly lived in small apartments as a child. Fortunately, Jolie's famous father provided some financial support, which helped Jolie study acting and modeling as a child. While Angelina Jolie didn't have a traditional relationship with her father as a child, she did get a glimpse at his life in the spotlight, occasionally even participating in the pageantry. In 1982, Jolie had a role in Voight's film, Lookin' to Get Out. She also accompanied her dad to the 1986 Academy Awards when he was nominated for an Oscar. Of course, it wouldn't be her last time on that iconic red carpet. Jolie eventually emerged as an actress in her own right, starring in the cult favorite but also highly laughable film, Cyborg 2. She was just 17 when she snagged the role, and her age created a few hiccups. To that end, Jolie was legally emancipated so her age wouldn't affect filming or raise labor law red flags. The film's director, Michael Schroeder, told Hollywood Gothic that Jolie was the most mature 17-year-old he had ever met. Schroeder also went on to say that the young Jolie clearly stood out among the throngs of women who auditioned for the part, so he, quote, knew she had what it takes. In many ways, Angelina Jolie has become more private throughout the duration of her time in the media spotlight, but the actress has opened up in the past about her early career and personal struggles. In an interview with Parade, the actress revealed, It's not a secret that I went through a self-destructive period, self-searching, looking for the extremities. I used to find something new to push up against because sometimes everything else felt too easy. She added that she often felt caged in and like she had, quote, too much energy for the room she was in. Jolie admitted that this behavior made may have been the motivation for some of her famous tattoos. Jolie's relationship with her father has been a veritable roller coaster of highs, lows, and complicated twists. There have been times of estrangement and moments of struggle, but the dad-daughter duo always seems to come back together. In 2002, Voight told Access Hollywood that his daughter had, quote, mental problems. In a statement to Access Hollywood, Jolie fired back, saying, I don't want to make public the reasons for my bad relationship with my father. After all these years, I have determined that it is not healthy for me to be around my father. However, it's seems the two are finally working towards making amends. In 2017, Jolie told Vanity Fair that Voight had become the grandfather her children needed. Jolie told the outlet, My father knows kind of the rule. Don't make them play with you. Just be a cool grandpa who's creative and hang out and tell stories and read a book in the library. While Jolie had some early success with the 1995 film Hackers, it was her HBO original biopic portrayal of bad girl model Gia Karanji, who struggled with heroin and contracted HIV in the early 80s, that catapulted her to stardom, as noted by a retrospective article on HBO. What we see in Jolie's Gia feels like an early cousin of her later Oscar-winning and show-stealing role in Girl Interrupted. Nevertheless, Jolie was initially hesitant to take the role, as she was worried that she and Gia were too similar. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Jolie explained, I figured this would either be a purge of all my demons or it was gonna really mess with me. I hate heroin because I have been fascinated with it. I'm not immune, but I won't do it now at all because luckily I found something that replaces that high, which is my work. Moreover, she noted that she and the late model both desired life to be, quote, deep and crazy and full of raw energy. 
In the late 90s, Angelina Jolie was certainly emerging as the new Hollywood it girl to watch. However, it wasn't until her supporting role in 1999's Girl Interrupted that she solidified her place as a superstar destined for mega fame. Jolie would go on to win the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her role. During her acceptance speech, she thanked her co-stars, her parents, and her brother, who she walked the red carpet with and memorably kissed on the lips. When asked about playing someone with mental illness on screen, Jolie defended her character in the film telling BuzzFeed, "...I really genuinely thought I was the only character who was seen in the entire film, and if you watch it closely, that's exactly how I was playing it." Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton met on the set of the film Pushing Tin in 1999, and just a few months later the two eloped in Las Vegas. Their union was, well, interesting, to put it mildly. As noted by Vanity Fair, the pair wore vials of each other's blood around their respective necks. We kind of signed our life away to each other, and uh, legally, and with blood, that there's no possible way anybody can separate or walk away from this." Additionally, Thornton once eagerly told paparazzi that they just, quote, "...had sex in the limo on the way to the show." Still, while Jolie and Thornton's mutual attraction and magnetism was evident, they both admitted to drifting apart. As Jolie explained in an interview, "...we met as two people who had been through pain and addiction. What went wrong, or not even wrong, but what wasn't meant to be." Jolie elaborated on her personal transformation at the time, which was also a factor, telling the interviewer, "...I went through a change in my life and started paying more attention to the news and learning about other countries and becoming more politically active." Jolie and Thornton split in 2002, shortly after Jolie adopted her first son, Maddox Jolie Pitt. While Jolie's work in films was highly regarded, she emerged as a box office leading lady in the 2001 film Tomb Raider, playing the iconic role of Lara Croft. And while it certainly was a good career move, Jolie had some initial doubts about accepting the gig. In an interview with Cinema, the actress revealed she was skeptical about the part, saying, "...I was flattered, but I thought it was ridiculous. I don't like video games." Fortunately, Jolie was persuaded after seeing that there was actual substance to the film's character. Still, that wasn't Jolie's only challenge, as getting into shape for the film was a serious job, too. When asked about her workout regimen in preparation for the film, Jolie had this to say, "...it was two and a half months of tough training. They had me on bungees, on dog sledding, they had me up at seven each morning and handed me a protein shake." Jolie would go on to say that she enjoyed the extreme training because she's an extreme person and has always been, quote, "...ridiculously fearless." Jolie also said that she feels alive when she's afraid. Few famous couples have stirred up as much drama as Brangelina. Angelina Jolie met Brad Pitt on the set of their film Mr. and Mrs. Smith, while Pitt was still married to Jennifer Aniston. Pitt and Aniston divorced in 2005, and just a few months later Jolie and Pitt were featured in a W Magazine photo shoot entitled Domestic Bliss. They also took a trip to Ethiopia, where Jolie adopted her daughter, Zahara Jolie Pitt. Zahara is the most organized in the family. Then, in 2006, Jolie gave birth to Pitt's daughter, Shiloh Jolie Pitt. In 2007, they adopted a toddler from Vietnam, and in July of 2008, Jolie gave birth to Pitt's twins. Of life with six children, Jolie told People, "...it is chaos, but we are managing it and having a wonderful time." Jolie and Pitt officially married in 2014, but it wouldn't be happily ever after. Jolie filed for divorce in 2016. With six biological and adopted children, you might assume that Angelina Jolie always dreamed about becoming a mom and having a large family. But the truth is, the actress and humanitarian didn't see herself as a natural-born nurturer, though she remembers when all of that changed. In an editorial for Time magazine, Jolie wrote, "...I remember the decision to become a parent. It wasn't hard to dedicate myself to someone and something greater than my life." She added that what was difficult was becoming the person who had to make sure everything was okay. And even as Jolie struggled in the aftermath of her messy divorce from Brad Pitt, she maintained her commitment to family. She went on to tell People, "...as a mother, you also have a responsibility first and foremost towards the kids. They are going through their formative years, and everything else comes second to that." As a special envoy of the UN High Commissioner for Refugees, Jolie has seen her share of injustices. However, she remains driven in her efforts to help eradicate the wrongs of the world. Jolie talked to Vogue about her passion for humanity, telling the magazine, "...I see all people as equal. I see the abuse and suffering, and I cannot stand by." She added that people aren't fleeing just to get a leg up. It truly is life or death out there in many cases. What's more, Jolie explained that it's the people she's met along the way that have left the most meaningful 
beautiful mark on her heart. She even referred to the refugees she's helped as mentors. In her interview with Vogue, Jolie recalled, I remember one of my first field missions in Sierra Leone. There was an amazing grandmother there, looking after her orphaned grandkids, who pulled me up and told me not to cry, but to help. In 2019, Jolie told Harper's Bazaar, My body has been through a lot over the past decade, and I have both the visible and invisible scars to show for it. Indeed, while the actress was in part alluding to her divorce from Brad Pitt, she was also speaking about the painful medical decisions she's made. In 2013, Jolie underwent a double mastectomy and other related procedures after learning she carried the BRCA1 gene, which meant she had an 87% chance of developing breast cancer. After recovering, Jolie wrote an op-ed about the experience in the New York Times to inspire other women to be proactive about their health. Jolie wrote in the op-ed, I hope that other women can benefit from my experience. Cancer is still a word that strikes fear into people's hearts, producing a deep sense of powerlessness. Jolie also has learned valuable lessons while dealing proactively with her health, writing, Life comes with many challenges. The ones that should not scare us are the ones we can take on and take control of. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.